What's up you guys? So I'm very happy today. It's another day of Christmas for, for musicians practically. Um, it's unboxing day and I'm excited because this is a pretty big box. I'm sure there's a lot of cool things inside. Um, so let's get to opening this real quick. Alright, so the first thing I got, um, I got this order from the guys at Sweetwater. Um, it's a bit of a pamphlet um, giving information about their the work, what they do. Um, it says thank you on it. Have some a pretty cool sticker and something I was not expecting, but I am definitely glad to see. I can get five free issues to Premier Guitar, which is pretty sweet. I haven't had I haven't had a guitar magazine subscription since I was a teenager, so this is pretty exciting. Um, I'll be signing up for them really soon. Next thing I got is this really cool bag of treats which is really unexpected I've never gotten anything from Sweetwater so I did not they I did not know they did this and finally one of the Sweetwater catalogs which is pretty awesome since I again I haven't been looking at catalogs um, or anything in a while so it's it's cool to be up to date with what's new out there All right so onward on to what I actually got so here we go Since I've been getting a couple of complaints in terms of my voice audio, um, I decided to upgrade my rig. So I got myself a Scarlett 2i2 Studio, which I will be beginning to use in the up and coming weeks. So I'll probably do a couple more videos with the, with the normal um, setup I already have, um, but I'll be upgrading to this in the up and coming weeks. So hopefully. Um, all the voice, static, and noises will be removed. So let me open this real quick, show you guys what's inside. Very nice, very nice. First, let me begin with the features. You have these really cool looking um, big <laughs> headphones, big studio headphones. Let me try them out. They seem pretty cool comes with a really hefty um, clip on so you can clip on the mic to the mic stand comes with a pretty cool pretty neat uh, microphone which is what I'll be using um, from now on to record my voice so once you see me using this you know I upgraded and I finally um, got around to playing with this and then finally the reason I got this whole thing the actual Focusrite um, Scarlett 2i2, which is a bit smaller than what I expected, which is nice. It's cool. And it looks just beautiful. It has a nice Scarlett color to it. Um, let me open the back really quick so I can show you guys everything a little bit better. Alright, so here it is. It's freaking beautiful, man. Love the colors. Love that it it looks just brand spanking new. Comes with a USB adapter, which is what um, we use to connect to the computer, and the actual microphone um, cable. That's it for this guy. I'm pretty excited about getting to using this guy. This guy on the list is this purple box right here which is nothing more than a mic stand which I got obviously so I could use the microphone um, on the Focusrite Scarlett which I'm going to be using in terms of voice and I might just use in terms of my guitar sound as well it all depends on how it works out seems pretty hefty it's a bit heavy um, so I'm glad about that it's heavy so it means it has a good bass I have to worry that much that it's gonna tip over. Um, it's all metal, and yeah, that's it. It's my mic stand. Finally, one of the most exciting things in the box the smallest box of them all. <laughs> it's a JHS pedal, it's the Andy Timmons pedal, the Andy Timmons drive. Um, 
comes with some instructions explaining everything that's on the, the actual pedal. It's volume drive, EQ air, these types of things. Has a JHS product catalog, which it's exactly what it mentions. It's just a bunch of the pedals that they make. Um, and I'm really liking this company as of late. And here's the actual pedal. I decided to get it in black, which is something I haven't seen um, a lot out there. I've seen the, the normal red one out there a lot. Um, but this version is sold only by the guys at Sweetwater. Um, and I saw, I actually found this one through Google. I Googled um, the AT Drive and I saw the picture of the black one and I said, wow, that looks really nice. So I decided to get it. Um, kind of decided to get this one because it almost looks like a vintage um, video game controller. It's something on a Nintendo or something. Um, so it has the, the cool black um, buttons on it. So I'm going to be checking this guy out. So hopefully in the up and coming weeks, once I get the, the actual Scarlet online on my computer and I get it figured out, I'll try this baby out and I'll give you guys a demo. It comes with a pretty cool sticker which I'll be using. And it's a nice surprise. I get a gravity pick, which I have never tried out, and I'm excited to try it out. It's a it says JHS pedals on it. And it's red, which is just nice considering the color scheme of everything here. It's the JHS stickers is red. Uh, the buttons on my pedal is are red, and it's another cool side thing. It has some red confetti on it, which which is really what makes the pedal sound good, you know. <clears throat> Alright, so let me just set up the pedal on my pedal board. And I'll show you guys um, exactly what's going on. Alright, so now let me show you guys my pedal board. A new and updated um, version of my pedal board. As you can see, there's been some a couple of small changes um, since last time I showed you guys the pedal board. Um, I did add a little pick box, um, and I switched up the positioning a little bit. I actually moved the, the BB preamp um, a little bit forward in the in the chain. So now it's volume wah um, BB preamp um, Andy Timmons, which is brand new. So um, I still haven't figured out if that's the best position for it, so I'll be trying it out um, soon enough and figuring out if I want to switch it with any other pedals. Um, I have the Proco Rat, I have the MXR Car Carbon Copy, and the TC Electronics Hall of Fame. And they seem to be working out pretty good. I'm loving um, the, the pedal train, um, which I mentioned in the last unboxing video. The only problem I've had with it is the actual Velcro. Um, and if it's new and I haven't moved the pedals that much, it usually stays. I mess with. I think these two. I think this guy seems to stay pretty pretty neat. Doesn't move that much. This guy doesn't move that much. This guy doesn't move that much. But my car carbon copy just keeps moving all over the place um, every time I go out to a gig. Um, and same thing with these two guys, which I actually sh switched out the Velcro um, before my last gig, and I haven't had any more problems with these two guys. Um, Oh, and this guy usually um, gets to move out a little bit, which you might think wouldn't happen since it's such a small pedal and it doesn't weigh that much. Um, but it does move around quite a bit. So that's it for my pedal board. All right, so that's it for this video. Um, I'll be demoing out the, the different gear that I got in this video once my once my interface is up and going. Um, and that's it. Hope you guys like this video. Remember, you can follow me on any type of social media. I'm on Instagram. I'm on Twitter, I'm on Facebook. Remember to comment below if you have any suggestions. Remember to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification button right next to the subscribe button, which which shows you every single time I upload a new video. And remember to hit the like button. Alright, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. <laughs>